Welcome back everyone, I'm Joe the Lawn Warrior and today I'm going to give you a one month update on my fall overseed, so let's get started. So like I was saying, today is almost about a little over a month now since I threw down my fall overseed. I overseeded with the Mountain View seed blend that I got at Tuckahoe Turf Farms. It was a 90% tall fescue and a 10% Kentucky bluegrass. So as you can see behind me, it's filled in very nicely over the course of that month period. I, there is a little bit of a shadow here right now, but I'll show you a couple pictures here in a second of what it looks like. Um, I think it looks really great. Um, could it be better? Of course, I've said it myself in the past. Uh, any overseed project can be done better or it could be better, you know, just in general. I'm just an average DIYer and homeowner. Um, and this is what I was able to achieve right here behind me with the Mountain View C blend. Um, it's looking really great. I did spray a little iron a couple days ago. Um, the Midnight Iron by the from the Lawn Whisper. It's a 1200 uh, liquid iron. I did spray that down with my Spray Mate sprayer. I mean, as you can see, it's really darkened up right here behind me. And this side of my house right here, this is a side piece of my driveway. You can see it looks really great. Um, it's filled in very nicely. Are there weeds? Of course. Um, I do plan on addressing them in the springtime. Uh, probably not right now in the fall time right now. Uh, but more to come on that. But as you can see, it looks really great. This piece right here, it's filled in really nicely. Again, I did spray this side as well with the liquid iron by the Lawn Whisper. It's called Midnight a 1200. I did buy that myself. Uh, earlier in the season. I gave it a try earlier in the season. And it looked really great um, But I upped the dosage this time to uh, nine ounces per 1,000 um, And as you can see it looks really great right here behind me And I just wanted to give you guys a quick update with the backyard as you can see right here behind me This was the Baron Brug RPR the perennial ryegrass the regenerating perennial ryegrass as you can see I mean it looks really great. It filled in very nicely. Um, I didn't do no any kill off back here um, I just threw the seed down. I did um, scarify it and dethatch it as best as I could back here. Um, we just laid the seed right down on the on the grass and on, it tried to get it down into the soil as best as we could. And then we just drew some peat moss on top and kept up with the watering. And as you can see, it's filled in very nicely back here. I never had a, a lot of grass back here in general. This is my backyard. I don't care about it as much um, as my front yard. Um, the kids, they really tear it up back here playing. But as you can see, it's filled in really nicely. And especially, uh, there's a bunch of spots that there was just really never any grass, uh, especially along the fence line uh, right here. Um, the grass is really filled in really nicely over in that section. Um, and I, I can't be, I couldn't be happier, honestly. I mean, the barren brug, it filled in very nicely. Um, it's starting to, start, I don't know if it's starting to spread or not, to be honest. Um, I don't get too much detail into it, but I just wanted a little bit more grass back here. And as you can see, it's filled in quite nicely back here. So now here's the side of my house over here. And as you can see, it's filled in very nicely over on this side as well. I did move a bunch of sprinklers around in this area right here uh, early in the season. You can see it's filled in very nicely in that area. Um, it's very green. Again, this got all sprayed with the liquid iron on this side as well. Um, as you can see, it's looking really nice, dark green. Are there some thin spots in certain sections? Yes, there is. Um, there's really nothing I can do at this point in the season. Um, I did throw a little bit of perennial ryegrass in certain spots because I know that that perennial ryegrass will fill in quickly and establish quickly. Um, so that's what I did in a couple areas out on the side over here that just for some reason it didn't take. Um, I think it has to do with some of the shade that I have uh, from this tree right here um, and then this tree right here. Um, I might switch it up next year and maybe look to more of a shade blend on this side of my house. Um, but I'll think about that come next fall oversea time. Um, but for now, as you can see, it's pretty well established on this side of the house. Um, things are looking good. Um, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna throw down my last fall fertilizer before I throw down a winterizer to end the season. So as I walk back out to the front of my house here, what I wanna talk about is the fall fertilizer that I'll be throwing down today. Um, I got it locally at a turf store. It's called Organic Turf Trade. I just did a video on the soil test results that I got back from them. Uh, their agronomist there, he studies your soil tests 
um, and he gives you recommendations on what you should put down uh, in your yard. So what my plan is going into next year, and I've talked about this in previous videos, is I really want to support some local fertilizer companies right here in New Jersey where I'm at. I'm actually in South Jersey. There's two companies in particular that I really want to support. Um, the one, like I talked about earlier, is Organic Turf Trade. They're located right here in Malka Hill, New Jersey, in South Jersey. They're about 20, 25 minutes away from me. Um, that's where I got my soil test done. Um, really great uh, company. Uh, again, they have an ag agronomist right on site, um, so he can help you out with any needs that you have. So shout out to Organic Turf Trade. And the other company that I really want to support as well, and I probably will be using one company at the Project Lawn, my sister's house next year, and then the other company, I will use their fertilizers at my own house. And again, I will be purchasing everything myself. Um, I don't want no freebies next year. I want to support these small businesses uh, right here in New Jersey. Um, I don't want no freebies next year. I really want to support small businesses right here in my home state of New Jersey. So the second company that I'll be supporting next year is a company called Plant Specialty. They're located in Union, New Jersey. Uh, it's a little bit more north to me. Uh, it's like a central-ish, -ish, North Jersey-ish from me. Um, again, Union, New Jersey, that's where Plant Specialty is located. Mike, he's a really great guy. I've been talking to him on Instagram throughout the fall overseas time. He's very knowledgeable, a very professional uh, guy. He's awesome. He's answered all my questions that I've had in my own yard throughout the fall overseed. So again, shout out to Mike at Plant Specialty. I will be supporting him and his company next year and buying fertilizers from his company as well. Um, I'll be using his uh, fertilizers either at my own house or at my sister's house, the Project Lawn. Um, so shout out, to, uh, shout out to Mike again. So I'll be supporting both those companies next year. I will be buying all the fertilizers myself. I don't want any freebies next year. I want to support those small businesses. So again, I will be buying all my fertilizers for both my house here from either Organic Turf Trade or Plant Specialty at either my house again or my Project Lawn. So shout out to those companies. I'll leave their websites and their Instagram uh, handles down in the video description below. So if you're if you're closer to Plant Specialty in Union, New Jersey, go check out Mike and his company. And again, if you're closer to me where I'm at in South Jersey, go check out Organic Turf Trade. Again, everything will be in the video description below. And again, I am not paid by either company to say any of this. I really just really honestly just want to support a local business, local companies right here in my home state of New Jersey. As you can see here, this is what I'll be throwing down today. I got this at Organic Turf Trade. This is the Organic Precise line. And as you can see, it's a 1623 fertilizer. This is a 50 pound bag as well, as you can see here. Um, it retails, I believe for $37. Uh, right at their store. Um, it's an awesome pearl size as well. I'll show you in a second. The pearls are a really great size. Um, it's a 220 right here as you can see on the bag. Um, so if we come over here, you have a 16% nitrogen. 9.3% of that is urea nitrogen. There is a little bit of a slow release in there. It's 6% of that 9.3 is a slow release. As you can see, we have 2% uh, phosphate as well. We have 3% uh, potassium because it's a 16-2-3 uh, fertilizer. So you got a little bit of potassium, a little calcium, sulfur, and you have 3% iron as well. So what I'm going to be doing is throwing down in between the recommended rate, which is awesome. They have this all right on their label right here. You can see here you have 4.4 pounds per 1,000 and 5.6 pounds. And it tells you exactly how much nitrogen you're putting out between those two pounds, which is awesome. I'm going to be throwing down five pounds per 1,000 today as my final fall application. And then I will probably be throwing down a little bit of this as a winterizer as well later in November. So I have the bag open right now. Again, the pearl size is an SGN 220. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit out in my hand right now, hold it up to the camera so you guys can see. As you can see, it's a real nice small pearl size right there, which is awesome for getting down into that soil canopy. So again, I'll be throwing this down today at about five pounds per 1,000. I'm not gonna bore you with a spreader video uh, clip, but again, I'll be weighing everything out, five pounds per 1,000. I'll have it up on my Excel sheet right here. I put everything in an Excel sheet so I know exactly how much to put down in each section of my yard. So if you're interested uh, ever in my Excel spreadsheet that I put together, uh, please contact me. My email is below in the video description and I'll be very happy to send you that Excel spreadsheet so you can use it at home. It's a very easy input. Um, so, and then all you have to put in is your square, square yardage or your square feet of each section of your house. 
and then you can easily uh, figure out how many pounds or even pounds of grass seed, pounds of fertilizer that you need for each section. So again, if you're ever interested in the Excel file that I use, just hit me up in my email. It's in the video description below. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I don't want to bore you with a video of me spreading fertilizer out in my yard, so I will spare you on that. So again, shout out to both companies, Organic Turf Trade and Melka Hill, New Jersey. And again, to Plant Specialty and Union, New Jersey. Those are the two companies that I will be supporting next year and buying all my fertilizers from next year. I don't want any freebies. I really want to support both these small businesses right here in my home state of New Jersey. So what I'll be doing is throwing down the fertilizer here in a second and I'll be watering it in and then I'll give you guys a little update probably in about a week from now. I'll give you another update on the project lawn that I did as well with the cool the GCI cool blue it's looking really great I drove by there the other day it's looking really great it's really filling in really nicely they're very happy with it so a future video on the project lawn and another future video on an update of my lawn after I put down the 1623 fertilizer here today if you found today's content helpful or if you enjoy today's content make sure you smash that like button below it really does help out with the channel it helps people to find my videos and if you have any questions or concerns put them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you and like always guys I'll see you in the next one if you're interested in an affordable DIY backpack sprayer check out the video right here in the end screen and also if you're interested in the steps that I did for my fall overseas check out the other video in the end screen and like always guys hit that subscribe button right there in the middle if you're new and I'll see you in the next one